Over the last nine years here at Survival on Purpose, we've taken a look at a lot of serrated knives, maybe hundreds. One thing most of them had in common is they weren't made in the USA. But recently, Schrade has, has brought some manufacturing back to the U.S., and we've looked at a couple of knives, and today we're going to look at another made-in-the-USA Schrade knife, the Schrade Pivot Lock Ball Bearing Radock. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. And let me apologize in advance for any, any noise you hear. They're doing some construction pretty close by here to the Survival on Purpose Worldwide Headquarters. So we're just going to endeavor to persevere. But anyway, the folks at Stray Knives were kind enough to send me one of their Radoc folding knives. And this is, again, is one of their made in the USA premium knives. Um, very, very nice knife. And again, made in the USA. This is their Alpha Class knife. Let's talk about the specs of this thing real quick before we get to doing some of that knife stuff. It features a three and three quarter inch Warner style satin finished blade of eighth inch thick S35 VN steel. There's no eight CR MOV, nothing in this one. <laughs> a uh, five inch by half inch thick uh, handle featuring black and gray marble carbon fiber scales. Uh, this has an eight and three quarter inch open length and weighs 4.5 ounces. It features an ultra glide ball bearing pivot and a pivot lock, which is basically this. Uh, the uh, now no longer patented or patent expired um, style lock, access lock that, that used to be on bench maze. Uh, has a tip up non-reversible pocket clip. You can see that right there. And lanyard holes, ambidextrous thumb studs, and some jimping up here, ooh, jimping up here on the old uh, top of the blade for your thumb, right? Which is pretty cool. Again, this is a premium knife, um, one of their alpha class. MSRP is $249.99 on this one. I found it for $209.95 on Blade HQ at the time of this video. So very, very nice. Let me just give you a close-up of it uh, while we um, I ramble a little bit. So that's the, uh, let's get this side here. That marble uh, carbon fiber looks really, really nice. And the blade itself is also really, really nice. They're, they're saying, they call this a carbon, I mean, a, a hollow grind on their website. I'll be honest with you, I put a straight edge across that and I could not see a gap underneath it. So, I, you know, they say it's a hollow grind, but I can't, I can't find, usually the way you can tell that you can take and lay a straight edge across that part, across the edge part, right, right there, that part. Can you see it right across that part? And if it's a hollow grind, you can see a gap underneath it. I couldn't see a gap underneath it, but they say it's a hollow grind, so I'm gonna take their word for it. They made it, but whatever the case may be, uh, I think it's important that we maintain scientific integrity and follow international scientific protocol when we're doing some testing here. And I think one of the things we need to do is test the sharpness based upon international scientific protocol. And the standard test, is, as you know internationally, is the redneck sharp test. So we're going to do that now. Let's just see. We have our um, certified testing medium. Let's just see. Oh, my gosh. Just look at that. Oh, man. Uh, this thing would shave a yak. That is pretty stinking good. I mean, like, wow. It's sharp, okay, let's just say it's sharp. But the secondary uh, sharpness test, whoop, but the secondary scientific sharpness test, as you know, is the paper cutting test. So let's just try that one. You want to? Let's call this with a couple of fingers. Oh man. And, oh, by the way, <clears throat> I think I just neutered that mosquito. This thing is sharp. So, let's, <laughs> that being said, it's, it's an EDC style knife. So, I'm gonna, um, I'm really hesitant to, uh, to put this thing through like regular fire making paces because it's not really a fire making knife. But you know what? It is a pretty solid, beefy knife. I mean, this has got a five inch handle on it. Uh, you know, it's almost four inch blade. Why not, right? Let's just let's just get a little crazy with it. Okay, so here is the Schrade Radoc, and this is a like I said, a two hundred fifty dollar knife. So you might think I'm being a little crazy, but uh, if I don't test this thing properly, I'm gonna have somebody saying I'm cheating because they sent it to me and I'm giving blah blah blah. So I just want to be scientific about it. Okay, so let's just do some 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 basic carving stuff. Got a piece of wood here. I think it's split off a piece of two by four to be honest with you, but whatever the case may be. Let's see if we can carve some curls with it. 
And this thing's got a great edge on it. Sure, so sure, I've no doubt it's going to carve like butter, baby. Like butter, I'm telling you, man. You know, so we're not doing any, any batoning with this because it is, it's a folding knife. You don't, it's not, I don't usually baton with folding knives, especially not $250 folding knives. Just not going to do that. Last one I did that with was, I think, was the uh, folding bob knife or whatever from Tops. And uh, even that, as solid as it is, the lock on it, it's, it's not designed for being batoned. Anyway, nice curls there. Let's see if we can get some little bitty ones. Because, you know, the, the purpose for doing all this is to get us a fire going, right? Look at all those little bitty curls. Look at that, man. This thing is just stinking sharp, dude. It is sharp. Look at that. Wow. Okay, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna let that be right there with those little bitty curls. Move you aside. You know what's next, right? We have to at least at least take a look at the old fatwood. And I've got some fatwood right here, so let's just see what we can do with that. Right out of storage. And uh carve a few curls off of it first. Look at those curls, man. Oh my gosh, look at those. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Put Tim down there. Let's see how well it scrapes. This little part right here feels like it ought to scrape pretty good let's just see i think it will now again a lot of people say don't scrape when you with it with it um they say to scrape with it folded so we'll try that i mean look and again what i like to do on a folding knife i'm going to scrape or strike with it is to fold it that way there's no chance of it if i'm holding it backwards of it closing and cutting my hand look at those mosquitoes on my hand it's probably all in my head too every time i make a video so let me know if you see them on my head when I'm making a video because I can't catch I can't catch it on until I edit. So let's try the scraper now, see if it scrapes. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Would you would you just look at it? Let me scrape a little bit off that corner right there. Seem to do pretty well, but you know what they say. Oh, look at that. Ah, the proof's in the pudding. And now we're going to try this. I, I just found this, this old poly, uh, Exotac poly striker that I um, just happened to have handy. And we're going to try this one and see how well she, she gets some sparks going. I don't know if it will or not. Like I said, it feels sharp, but I don't know if it is or not. Okay, it is. And looky there. <laughs> that fast well there you go that's worth a cup of coffee right there okay well that was a hopefully reasonably quick and coherent look at the Schrade Radoc folding knife again this is one of their alpha class knives very nice premium knife and I think the quality of this thing lives up to the premium label. Um, honestly, like all the Schrade, USA Schrades I've looked at in the past couple of months, the build quality on this thing is excellent. Like I said, so people ask me, are they making these in-house or are they, are they outsourcing the manufacturer to somebody else? I don't know for sure. All I know is whoever's making these is doing a really good job. Again, it's a premium knife, premium materials. I just think the, uh, man, the, the marbleized carbon fiber, marble finish looks really good. But what I really like about this knife is it is usable. This is a good, nice, big sized EDC style knife. Very comfortable to use, but yet very functional. Um, I, again, I gotta give my a heads up for this one, but let me just wrap this up. We're doing a follow-up after that, a little bit of carving, not a lot. We'll do a follow-up redneck sharp test and make sure that you know the edge made it through that little bit of carving anyway. <laughs> let's see, you want, you, want, you want to? Let's see, right here's the old medium. Let's just see. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh yeah, she's still sharp. So that's the Shred Radoc. And thanks again to the folks at Shred for sending me this so I can show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.